there are five um, short operas um, by five different composers and five different librettists, including Mark Ravenhill, uh, Connor Mitchell, um, Chris Norby, Brian Irvine, Owen McCafferty. There's a real exciting mix of largely Northern Irish talent involved in this project. I think NI Opera is a hugely valuable addition to the art scene here and it's being rather brilliantly um, uh, innovative in how it presents the art form to the audiences here. I think that the seeds were planted by Connor Mitchell's idea for a project which um, is based on Mary Peters, um, the Olympic champion from Northern Ireland and that's where the, the genesis of this whole project came from. Each opera is about 15 minutes long and there's a huge amount of variety between one and the next. You know, they're all new, all specially written for this occasion. Uh, one of them, for example, is a tragic story about parents who are grieving the loss of their 20-year-old uh, daughter who threw herself over a bridge and thought she could fly. And that's a deeply moving, uh, and the music for that would be quite sort of generally quiet and lyric. Um, and then you have the other end of the spectrum would be um, Brian Irvin and Owen McCafferty's piece, which is all about uh, family watching the National Lottery on television. Uh, there's, there's a complete spectrum, I suppose, of, of, of different things there, but all quite cutting edge, all quite new and uh, modern. Working in classical music, sometimes we feel we're in a bit of a minority, but here, like, everybody knows about the Olympics, everybody in the world knows about it. So for, now, so for a project like this to be part or, or under that banner is very exciting because it brings us to a wider audience and brings us maybe to the attention of people who might never have considered coming to an opera like this or taking part in something like this. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's, for me, really exciting. Obviously, the, the chance for all of the artists, the performing artists, the creative artists to showcase their work in London is very important as well. And um, there'll be a, a, a really interested audience in London. But also I think because it's part of that bigger festival and part of the Olympics is great too. There's three performances in Belfast and they're in the new Mac Theatre and they're on the 28th, 29th and 30th, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then in London we're in the Purcell Room on the Friday the 13th. Whoops, that's a, an inauspicious date, isn't it? But we, we'll make it lucky, Friday the 13th in London.